Welcome to The Anxious Morning. Every weekday morning, we'll take a few minutes to go over some important lessons that you can use in your anxiety recovery journey. Away from the endless, noisy scroll of social media, The Anxious Morning brings you support, education, inspiration, encouragement, and empowerment. For more, visit us at theanxiousmorning.com. Yesterday, we talked about observing the process of anxiety rather than evaluating its content. If you missed that email, go back and reread it. Remember that an archive of all past Anxious Morning emails can be found at theanxiousmorning.email. One very simple yet powerful statement can start us down the path of observing rather than evaluating our anxiety and fear. I am thinking. Why am I thinking? Because I am afraid. When you pause for a few seconds and consider this simple fact, you will see that in all cases it is true. When you are anxious and afraid, you will be thinking. In most cases, you will be thinking about all kinds of scary things and what-if scenarios. As scary and disturbing as those thoughts may be, however, the fact remains that you are thinking in those moments. You have heard me say that thoughts are just thoughts, even when they are scary and unwanted. Anxious thoughts, I have said in the past, have two characteristics. They are very strong, but also very wrong. They are not telling you something. They are not accurately predicting some danger or disaster. They are not premonitions, omens, visions, or manifestations of your intuition. Anxious thoughts are just thoughts. They are thoughts designed to protect you against a threat, which makes them naturally very strong. But since no threat actually exists, this also makes them very wrong. If we start from this premise, then taking a few seconds to pause, and simply observe that you are thinking when anxious and afraid can be a game changer, I am thinking objectively and accurately describes the process at play. This simple statement does not concern itself with the content of your thoughts, nor does it attempt to interpret or interact with them. It merely acknowledges that your brain is doing what brains do. You are thinking. It's okay to think. Thinking is a normal human experience. It certainly has importance in a human life. But while thinking may be important... This does not make it automatically predictive or even accurate in the way it describes reality. Thoughts can feel important while also being wildly inaccurate and twisted. You are not required to interact with, argue with, or otherwise engage with or respond to inaccurate and twisted thoughts. Why? Because in simplest terms, when you objectively look at what is happening in any given moment, you are just thinking. That is all. It may take you a while to come to terms with this idea. I know it feels like the thoughts are so important and that you must take action to stop them, escape them, or prove them wrong. Odds are that has not worked very well for you, so take a few minutes today to consider what you've read here. Maybe you really are just thinking, and maybe those thoughts really are only just thoughts. If you look at the track record of reality, rather than your imagination and fear, I think you'll agree that what I'm saying rings true. I am thinking. Step 1 in observing the process of anxiety. Tomorrow, we'll take a look at the second observational concept that I found incredibly useful in my recovery. Tomorrow, we'll examine another simple statement. I am feeling. Hey, if you're enjoying the podcast and you'd like to get a copy of it delivered every morning into your email inbox, including a full text transcription, head on over to theanxiousmorning.email and sign up for the newsletter. And if you're listening on iTunes or Spotify or someplace where you can leave us a rating or a review, take a moment and rate the podcast and maybe write a small review. It really helps us out. Or just tell a friend about us. Thanks a lot.